In quantum field theory, the gupta blula formalism is a way of quantizing the electromagnetic field. The formulation is due to theoretical physicists Suraj N. Gupta and Conrad Blula. Let's start with a single photon first. A basis of the one photon vector space is given by the eigenstates k, epsilon mu where k, the four momentum is null and the k zero component, the energy, is positive and epsilon mu is the unit polarization vector and the index mu ranges from zero to three. So, k is uniquely determined by the spatial momentum. Using the bracket notation, we equip this space with a sesquilinear form defined by where the factor is to implement Lorentz covariance. We are using the plus minus 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 metric signature here. However, this sesquilinear form gives positive norms for spatial polarizations but negative norms for time-like polarizations. Negative probabilities are unphysical, not to mention a physical photon only has two transverse polarizations, not four. If we include gauge covariance, we realize a photon can have three possible polarizations. This is given by the restriction. However, the longitudinal component is merely unphysical gauge. While it would be nice to define a stricter restriction than the one given above which only leaves the two transverse components, it is easy to check that this can't be defined in a Lorentz covariant manner because what is transverse in one frame of reference isn't transverse any more in another. To resolve this difficulty, first look at the subspace with three polarizations. The sesquilinear form restricted to it is merely semi-definite, which is better than indefinite. In addition, the subspace with zero norm turns out to be none other than the gauge degrees of freedom. So, define the physical Hilbert space to be the quotient space of the three polarization subspace by its zero norm subspace. This space has a positive definite form, making it a true Hilbert space. This technique can be similarly extended to the bosonic Fox space of multiparticle photons. Using the standard trick of a joint creation and annihilation operators, but with this quotient trick, we come up with the free field vector potential operator value distribution satisfying with the condition for physical states, chi and psi and the Fox space. It should be emphasized that this is not the same thing as Note that if O is any gauge invariant operator, does not depend upon the choice of the representatives of the equivalence classes, and so, this quantity is well defined. This is not true for non-gauge invariant operators in general because the Lorenz gauge still leaves residual gauge degrees of freedom. In an interacting theory of quantum electrodynamics, the Lorenz gauge condition still applies, but no longer satisfies the free wave equation.